So where's Enrique this week? Oh, he's in detox. Mixed all three shiny grape beverages together and then got pummeled by Klingons. You know what? Never mind. So just us. No, Matt actually invited Royale. New guy. I'll try not to kill his character too quickly. You do know that we're supposed to be playing as a team of adventurers against the forces of darkness? As the person who killed my character last mission. You were trying to kill us first. My magic missile was just self-defense. Magic missiles don't kill people, Wyatt. People kill people. I invited Apple as well. I figured an RPG might be just the thing to help her get over her performance anxiety. Sweet. I like a girl who likes to role play. Greg, you like a girl who breathes air and drinks water. Yeah, it means she's got good lung capacity and ample moisture. I preemptively veto Candyland. Second. No, I want to play Dungeons and Dragons. What game is this? Irish bare knuckle brawlers. Dig in. Where do you find these games? I've got a modest proposal for ya. Go f yourself, you shite brain blather skite. Okay, since we have 50% new players today, and since Greg's character, Gul Dukat, was tragically slain mid-betrayal last game... I almost got away with that betrayal. We're going to have to build some new characters. Ladies, if you need help building a character, I'm the resident expert. I'm watching you, Greg, and this next character better be lawful good. We'll just see. Royale, you brought a character? Bester. I've had him for a while. He's a 17th level psionicist. He can kill almost any creature. With just a thought. Well, it's a second level campaign. I'm gonna totally munchkin this thing. No, you're gonna have to cut him down. You're the DM, you cut him down. But I'm gonna need some plot cohesion. Okay. Upon his appearance, Bester is attacked by a seti eel-like creature, which bores its way into his brain and lodges there. He finds himself with 12 hit points, one power, and a vague recollection of who he once was. Poor munchkin Bester. Mm. Be seeing you. And without rolling, it looks like Stephanie has drawn a giant satanic chicken. He is not satanic. He's the Wiccan chicken. I could be a chicken, right? It says here chickens are three copper. Can I buy Steph's character? I don't think that counts sentient chicken. So wait, as a chicken, can Steph buy other chickens? Or is that chicken slavery? Ooh, I have three gold. I can buy like a hundred chickens and start a chicken harem. Can I pick if they're sexy? Do the sexy ones cost extra? No chickens are sexy and no characters are chickens. Try again. Determine your character's race and class. Apple, are you... All done. The skulls were all bad people. So you're a... Elf, dwarf, thief, wizard, paladin. That's too many things. Oh. Good enthusiasm, though. By the way, my new character is my old character's brother, here to bring his brother's assassin to deadly, deadly justice. Bring it on. I aim my magic missile at your respawn point. You guys know this is why we're only on Adventure 2, right? Also, there's no such thing as a respawn point. I've always wanted to be Mexican. Is that a race I can be? No. But they have such nice skin and access to superior avocados. And for class, I've always wanted to be rich. Wait, I didn't know you could do that. In that case, my character, Sir Ragnar, is still black. Only I don't like the term black, so I'd prefer to be called colored. I am not calling that. Well, Sir Ragnar would like to be called colored then. I diplomatically abstain from participating in this conversation, as does my character, Bester, the Jew. No, 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 no. Steph, before you incite a race war, race means like human, elf, dwarf, gnome. Oh. And class is like your profession, so decide whether you want to be a fighter, a rogue, a wizard. Can I be a science teacher? Aren't you a science teacher in real life? Well, yeah! I think you might be missing the point of role-playing games. I can be a Mexican science teacher. Humans are humans. It doesn't matter if you're Mexican or not for your character's abilities. Oh, really? So all humans have access to the same caliber guacamole? No wonder this is a fantasy game. I'm uncomfortable. Let's discuss the science teacher angle and why that's not going to happen either. This is basically like the Dark Ages, so there's no such thing as science. Can't she be, like, Copernicus? Copernicus was Renaissance. Plus, despite his exemplary grasp of astronomy, I don't think Copernicus would be any good at fighting cobbles. You know, you could be a cleric. A cashier? Not a clerk, a cleric. A priest who heals people. And you could wield a fire mace! Sweet! Man, church would have been awesome if my priest wielded a fire mace. Who you telling? <laughs> Praise him! What class was Luke Skywalker? 
in Star Wars. We know who Luke Skywalker is. Well, what class would he have been if he was in Dungeons and Dragons? Oh, God. Rogue. Illusionist. Fighter. No, Han Solo was the rogue. Luke was like a bard or something. He wasn't sitting there playing a loot. He was a tearing stuff up, man. He's a fighter all the way. Okay, in Jedi, he was a fighter. But when he's whining about power converters, he's a bard. I think he's a paladin. Once he learns the Force anyway, because then he has godlike powers. I want to be that. Except, um, girl Luke. Girl Luke is Leia. They never put Luke Skywalker in a slave costume. Trust me, I Google image searched it. What is with you and slaves today? I'm colored, remember? How much longer till we can play? We are playing. Much longer. And the prophecy foretold of the coming of a nerd like no other. He would unite the peoples of the world with his cryptic wisdom. You guys know what movie I really like? Norbit.